All right, you guys, here's an update from the garage. Uh, whew, got a big mess going on here, but uh, here is the belt off the hydro. Maybe do that. Yeah, it's missing about a inch and a half, two inch piece of belt out of it here. That's what was making everything shake and knock, vibrate. The whole belt itself is just seen better days. Look at that thing, it's cracked all the way around. So it was time. So I was searching on eBay because I went to the local stores and nobody had anything. So I went on eBay, got two of these um, from D and D Power. These are um, let's see, 5L790 or it's an 8100H is the part number for Sears. So I looked that up on eBay and this came up. These are 1096 a piece, free shipping. So I got two. This one's for the 68. And I got one for the hydro. And you can see, we're doing some more work on the old girl. Got the rims painted, front and back. Everything cleaned up good, painted the hubs, got all this touched up. The sides were full of rust and like the battery acid was dripping down this side, so I sanded everything down and then shot some orange over it and some primer. I just painted the end there of that. Uh, I actually took the whole clutch rod out to get to this drive belt out and um, the running boards off. I got this running board finished and put back on there. This is some nice like sandpaper anti-skid stuff. That's what I used on the uh, custom. So I got some more for that. Painted the clutch rod, brake rod. This thing cracked in half so I just cut it off and put on what was good. But I'll be looking for a new one of these. Um, all right guys, not too bad. Yeah, just clean it up, make it look a little better, you know. Everything was rusty and nasty. Uh, engine was done. Uh, here's the new dry belt in there. A lot quieter. Sounds so much better. Ooh, better choke it. chicken dinner. Look at that. Stopped right there. So yeah, D&D &D Power. Check them out. Got a good price on the belts. I was thinking about getting some more, but I got two for now. Um, next thing I gotta do, this other running board. I gotta get these holes patched up. My brother just got a new welder and wants to try it out. So I said, hey, I got some stuff for you to do. So I'm gonna have him fill up these holes. And then I'm gonna take this off. Have him patch that hole. And there's some other stuff I was going to have him work on too. I think the toolbox off this 69. I think we can fix that up. Just get a piece of, I got all this tin around here. I can get a piece of tin, fill that in, you can weld that up. And we can knock that out and some other stuff. So I think the clutch bracket needed some welding too. But anywho, I used the 69 SS12. Did some thatching. She worked good. Got the front yard done, so I gotta rake all that up. I was gonna videotape it, but I did last year, so it's like what the hang. Uh hydro, I just charged the battery up a little bit on that. Try to take that for a romp. I painted this uh PTO cover. Jeez, I can't see it. The sun here. There we go. Yeah, I shot that over and then the bolt for that side tin. I'm gonna put that side tin back on. So everything will pretty much be buttoned up other than that running board, so. Alright guys, this update from here. It's been a while since I did one. Hadn't really done anything because it hasn't been nice out. But it's about 70 out there right now, so. I'm getting some stuff done, so. Figured to give you a quick shot of this guy before I throw the hubcaps on it. But yeah, nice looking tractor. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.